everyone. I am collabing in this video with Contour Queen 2121. I realized when editing that is not the number 21, that's definitely 12. So <laughs> I apologize. Here on YouTube, I will have her channel linked down below. So she hit me up and was like, hey, do you want to collab? Yeah, yeah, I do. Cool, well I'll send you a box of stuff and then you send me a box of stuff. Oh my gosh, yes, that sounds like an amazing idea. And here we are. <laughs> I sent her a full face uh, makeup from the drugstore that is my personal favorite from the drugstore and I sent it to her and she did the same for me. So this is the look I came up with using the products that she sent me. So it was really fun and I have never done anything like this before here on my channel, but here we are. And it was super fun. I'm so glad that she thought of me with this collab. If you are new to my channel, all of our social media is linked down below. <laughs> I will also have all of my veterinary vlogs linked down below as well if you want to check those out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Do you like that? Does that feel good? Now I have cat hair all on my face. <laughs> So some of the stuff that she sent me, I actually already know that I'm going to love because I already own them, but there are a couple things in here that I've never tried, so we're gonna see how I like them. Okay, so I have no makeup on my face other than my eyebrows. She did send me this NYX Hydra Touch Primer, and I've never tried this before, so hopefully it's good. It smells like honeysuckles. So my face does feel really tacky. It does feel hydrated too. All right, next in here, she got me this NYX Color Correcting Concealer. It look like these. Very rarely ever color correct, but I mainly just use the green and the purple. So purple is to combat like dullness and the green reverses redness. So I just put it right here on my cheeks where I have these breakouts on my face. I have used this before and when I blended my foundation on top of it, it seemed to kind of blend away. So we'll try it again and see how it works. Isn't this a great look? Isn't this beautiful? She also did send me this little container full of uh, Real Techniques Beauty Blenders. I actually already have this one and I do love it, but I've never tried the small purple one or the pink one. I don't even know what to use this for. We'll try this one because I've never used it. Um, she sent me two foundations, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and then also L'Oreal True Match. So I already have this one. I already know I love it, so I'm going to be using this one because I've never tried it before. I think so. I think that will be a good match. This one looks to be a good match too. I actually was running low on this one, so I'm really glad that she got it for me because I was about to repurchase it anyway. Uh, yeah, that looks to be like a match to me. Mm, I don't know how I like this sponge do. So I do have an oily t-zone so I'm curious to see how this wears throughout the day but we'll see. Also the reason why the lighting's off is because it is pouring down rain outside so it's not gonna be the best lighting. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I like the sponge. It's leaving like little stamp prints on my face so I'm gonna take this one because I know I like this one. I think it actually might be just a tad too light for my skin because now I look like a ghost but I can totally fix that. You can still see my zit. <laughs> okay, I didn't get a concealer, so I'm gonna be using my Char Shart. My Shart Shape Tape. I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape. Actually, I'll use the little purple one. So I don't know about y'all, but I love to watch Orange is the New Black, and I just saw that the new season came on, and I've been binge watching it all weekend. I've had so much homework to do and I have midterms this week. I've been trying to study and watch Orange is the New Black at the same time. It never works. I don't know why I continue to try. For powder, she sent me this NYX hashtag no filter powder. And I've never used this before, so we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to take this Real Techniques <laughs> blush brush. And I'm just going to tap it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and just set my face because it is pretty tacky so um and then I'm gonna take <laughs> 
this Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes so that doesn't crease. And my eyelids because my eyelids can get oily especially now when it's like 100 degrees outside. I walk outside and I'm instantly like full of sweat. I look so ghostly white. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, she did send me the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is my favorite bronzer at the drugstore. However, the one that she sent me completely shattered and I was so heartbroken. But this is the one that I already own. I already know I love this product. It is one of my favorite products at the drugstore. It just is beautiful. <gasps> better. We're getting there. We're getting there. This zit is just monstrous. Does anyone get those pimples under the skin that just throb and hurt? That's what that is right there. Ooh, it hurts so bad. And the worst part about it is like I am restraining myself so hardcore from popping it because I'm a pimple popper. I love to pop pimples. I'll tell you a weird fact about me, which is really weird, but you know, who cares? Have y'all ever seen those videos on YouTube where it's like these people at a dermatologist's office and they're just like popping zits on people's noses? I love to watch those videos. They're so satisfying. Comment down below if anyone else watches pimple popping videos because I know I'm not alone. I am a picker and I am a popper. I'm a picker popper. Yay, that looks better. I don't look so ghostly anymore. Next, she sent me this from Wet n Wild, which I love Wet n Wild. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. And she sent me this blush in pearlescent pink. I actually already own this one. So you can tell that we have the same taste, but I do love this blush a lot. It does have some shimmer in it, but once you put it on your cheeks, you can't even see it. Okay, and for highlight, should he sent me this from Aspen Ovard. Uh, I actually own this one too. Oh wait, maybe. I own one of these. I think I have the other one, the other color. <gasps> I'm excited. Oh, that's really pretty. That looks, at least in the viewfinder, that looks wet. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I knew I was going to like this because I liked the other one, but this color is absolutely gorgeous. I really like this a lot. I got really excited when I saw this. She got me the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I actually have the Mad for Matte 2 palette, and I love that one. And I actually was going to purchase this one my next drugstore run, so I'm really glad she sent it to me. Ah, ah, oh my god, it just fell out. What is happening? That's just traumatic. Okay, I'm excited to try this because actually she got me some lash glue, so I'm just gonna glue it in now. Oh, it's black. Oh, what? I feel like I'm doing surgery on my eyeshadow palette. Aha! Okie dokie. So we're gonna go for something like smoky but natural. This color right here. Whoa. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. For my crease, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I think that this eyeshadow palette for $10, really, you can't beat it, so. My dog's licking her butthole. Katie, stop. Next, I'm gonna use these color right here, which is like a brown terracotta, almost, color. And just put that right below my crease and on the outer V. So this palette is actually pretty like cool toned when the Mad for Matte 2 is pretty warm toned in my opinion. And I'm definitely a warm toned kind of girl. I'm going to use this one and put that on the outer V of my eye ball. I'm going to be real brave and we're going to use this black. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, just put that out here. Guys, I can't even tell you the last time I did a smoky eye. Okay, same terracotta brown is going to go underneath my eyeball. And then I'm just going to add, once I have this blended out, I'm going to add some black. <laughs> okay, she did send me some eyeliner. Wait, is this eyeliner? Yeah, eyeliner from NYX. 
gonna put this on my waterline. And I'm also gonna tight line with it. Ah. And I got this setting spray from Pixie. This is the Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. I've actually been eyeing this at Target and I have been wanting to pick it up. So I'm really excited that I got it. Go ahead and set my face and then I'm gonna apply some mascara. Help. I do like the smell of the spray. However, it does come at you. It's not like a fine mist. It's like a pss, pss. I did get some Ardell Wispy Multi-Pack Eyelashes. <laughs> Which, to be honest with you, I love the way that false eyelashes look. I just am extremely slow when it comes to applying them because I don't apply them often. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, put some mascara on, and apply these eyelashes. And I'll probably see you in like an hour. It's probably going to be about 15 minutes because it takes me forever to put eyelashes on. I'll be right back. Finally got these eyelashes on. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. But like, what do y'all, what do y'all think? Do you like it? Do not like it. Leave me comments down below. Um, the eyelash glue that she sent is black, which is really cool. And I think that if you're experienced in applying eyelashes, this is a great product to have. However, I'm not. I'm still learning. So I got like black eyelash glue everywhere. <laughs> so I probably am not going to be using this until I'm a little bit more familiar with applying eyelashes. I'm sure you can see it because I literally got black eyelash glue everywhere. Okay, finally she got me two lip glosses. I think I'm going to do this one, which is in Bare Attraction. Oh, it's a pro matte gloss. Okay. Why would you call something a pro matte gloss? That just doesn't even make sense. Okay, and this one, I guess, is this a gloss? So this is a gloss. I'll go ahead and add this one, because why not? Say hi. Hello. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, so this was super fun. I'm so glad that we did this because I've never done anything like this before and it was really fun. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.